So uh, let's get started with the first E3 thing, which is of course the Danganronpa Decadence uh, trailer. Let's watch it and I'll give my thoughts on it. I already have a few thoughts, but I don't think it's fair to start talking about those without, you know, playing the trailer for everyone that hasn't seen it. So no big spoilers, but you get what I mean, right? Celebrate 10 years of Danganronpa in despair. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Three games in the deadly Rampa series are coming to Nintendo Switch. I am this school. Monokuma, the self-proclaimed school headmaster, has trapped you and other high school students in a game of literal life and death. Unfortunately, the only way out of the school and this lethal game is to betray the other students. And so it begins. A body has been discovered! When a student meets their demise, a class trial will take place to reveal the culprit. You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? Telling you, I had no idea. They probably moved the body there. Use the evidence you've gathered to refute contradictions and find the guilty party. Sneak attack! No, swap! I love how PG this trailer is. So PG. Are you okay? So PG. Plus, the board game from Rampa V3 Killing Harmony has been expanded into a standalone game. Rampa S Ultimate Summer Camp, an all-star cast of characters from the Rampa series will come together to battle at a tropical resort. Who's the strongest of them all in this hey. ultimate beach brawl? The four-game collection Rampa Decadence launches as a physical exclusive on Nintendo Switch later this year. All four games will also be individually available on Nintendo eShop. Now, the biggest part about this announcement that I've seen online is people either love it or hate it. People that love it are like, fuck yes, Danganronpa is finally on Nintendo, which means Monokuma can join Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which would be freaking amazing. And the other half is basically saying that it's a very lazy attempt at, you know, getting money. Now, while I don't disagree with the latter, I think having a game on Nintendo means you can join Super Smash Bros., which is the whole point of it. Even Devil May Cry is on the Nintendo Switch, which opens it up to being a part of Super Smash Bros. It's a thing at this point. Uh, what company wouldn't want to put one of their big titles on Nintendo so they could join Super Smash Bros.? It opens up the audience exponentially because it's a whole new market of exposure. So yeah, it's not a new, new game. And the island mode, which is now just going to be Pokemon Battles 2.0, mm, not the most interesting thing in the world, but the fact that da Danganronpa could make it on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate more than makes up for it. And I'd like to say that Monokuma is a big contender because he is somewhat of a cult icon uh, when it comes to, you know, killing games and whatnot. He's become more and more popular over the years, dominating, you know, YouTube top 10 anime shock moments and betrayals and all these things. So it's an inevitability that he's going to make it onto Smash. I hope he makes it as a standalone character and not just the skin. So that's my whole thing for it. 